Hey YouTube family, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nardia and I'm the owner of Nardia K Creations, which is a sticker and stationery company. This video, we are veering away from our typical studio vlogs and we're giving an educational, helpful tip type of video because I get these questions sometimes. So let's make a video about it. One more thing. We're very bright today. We're glowing today. That's just, that's just how the outfit came about today. Let's get into this video. These are my top 10, 10, 10, 10 things or items that I use mainly on a daily basis to run my Etsy shop. These are things that will just help you not to start your shop, but to make production, make, these are things why can't I say what I need to say? It's not the mouth. It's not saying. It's the mouth and the brain is not connecting. It's not saying what needs to be said. All right, let's try this again. These are the things that will just help you as you create and help with production. You know what? Let me just get into. It. Let me just forget it. Let's just get into the top ten things that will help you run your sticker and stationery shop. Let's go. And these are also things from Amazon. I will leave my Amazon affiliate link in the description bar for all the products I mentioned. Once again, it's an affiliate link, which means that if you click on it and purchase through that link, I do get a small commission from Amazon. No extra cost to you though. I appreciate it. I truly appreciate it. Truly appreciate it. Okay. Links in the description. Let's get started. First item number one, this cute little green baby right here. This is called a splice. And this is gonna take your die cut stickers to a whole nother level when you're selling them to clients. A die cut sticker is a sticker like this that is just a single sticker that stands alone by itself versus a kiss cut sticker, which is a sticker that is on a sticker sheet and you peel it off and the back remains. The die cut stickers, because they stand alone, are typically harder to peel off the back end. So a splice, is your best friend when you're selling to customers. All you have to do is slide the tip, the back of the die cut sticker. This will cut the back, but not the front of the sticker. And as you can see, once you splice the back of it, it's easier for you to peel off the back of the stickers. Trust me, customers love. It's a small detail, but it means so much to customers, especially for someone that has nails. It it just takes your die cut stickers to another level. Trust me. You don't believe me? Right here, the proof is in the pudding. This review right here, Colleen said, and I'll read it to you. High quality, quick shipping, no complaints. However, this is the part. This is the part right here. And this is super small but impactful thing. The back end of the sticker is cut for easy removal from the sticker itself. No annoying picking at the side to separate the back end. Wholeheartedly recommend. The second item that I use in my sticker and stationery shop is a corner rounder. This is my corner rounder right here. And I use this to around the corner of items. Either my sticker sheets or my thank you cards. Or oh, no, that's it, Nadia, that's it. You don't run anything else. Well, the point is a corner rounder is great because if it just makes the edges look more well that makes the edges round, first of all. And it just adds a more sophisticated look, in my opinion, to the sticker sheet instead of the typical square edge because anybody can do a typical square edge. I mean, it prints that way. But when you add that small detail of the round edge, give it a little bit of curve, you know, add a little bit of <laughs> to it, it gives it that extra blah, blah, boom, that extra refinery, in my opinion. My corner rounder has three different settings. It has a small, medium, and large, and yeah, get you one. Item number three is a shipping cart. Now, I know this is not a necessary must like everything else, but it helps. So what a shipping cart is or a packing cart is, is just a cart that has all your shipping and packing needs. 
so that if you're packing orders, you can move the cart wherever you need to move it to, and everything that you need to pack and ship orders is right there. Some people have a packing station where they have a designated station in their office or studio or room where they have all their packing supplies, and some people have it all over the place. I'm not judging. I'm just saying for me, everything that I need to ship and pack and order is in one place, and I use a shipping cart. You can use this cart right here. I got this from, I think Michael's have it, or also on Amazon. I will link the Amazon link below. And as you can see, it has everything. At the top, it has my um, confetti. It has my glassine bags. At the next two tiers, I have my mailers. In the next two tiers, behind, I have my, um, my tissue paper. My tissue papers, I have my tapes, my scissors, my corner rounder is there, my splice is here. It just holds everything. So I can pack an order wherever I need to and I move it around as much as I need to. And I like that everything is just on one thing. I just love it there and just one thing. When I need to pack an order, it just has everything there. So I recommend definitely getting, definitely getting a cart. Number four are these beautiful storage boxes. I have mine in pink, but they come in a multitude of different colors, which you can see on Amazon. They just help me store things in my sticker shop. For example, this one here holds all my sticker sheets. And I like to put my sticker sheets in the box because it has a cover, because you know, dust and all. I don't like to keep my sticker sheets open because of dust. So put your sticker sheets in there. If it's my size sticker sheets, if it doesn't fit your size, I'm sorry. They have the other size boxes. But this one fits my sticker sheets and I cover it because dust. We, we don't do dust. And then this other one holds all my craft items that I use to make my flower clips and my paper clips, all my dangly paper clips. This one holds that one. So I just like them because of the color, first of all. You know, aesthetics is everything. <laughs> but also because they have a cover, which helps with dust, and they just were really affordable for the design. Number five is these is number five are no is number five is these Nakapa cutting mats. Let me say something. I have a cricket. We fight a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Me and my cricket, we have issues. She's been good so far. But the cricket cutting mats, which is what came with my cricket, using them for a while, love them perfect. But then I saw these other brand on Amazon. I said, let me give it a try <laughs> because the cost is significantly less than the Cricut cutting mat. And when I tell you these babies work like a, work like a charm. So if you're on a budget, the Cricut cutting mats, yes, they're great, but you can get the same thing with the, how do you pronounce it? Nikapa? I don't say it to So I feel Nikapa. So I guess that's how you pronounce it or I don't know. But with the Nikapa cutting mat, you can basically get the same thing. And the price is significantly less. So this is a way for you to hold on to more money in your pocket while still running your business. Thank me later. Matter of fact, no. Thank me now in the comment section. Let me know if you ordered it. Let me know if it's helping you. Let me know if you already use it. Because that's a big price difference right there. Thank me in the comment section. Number six are my cutters. I have two of my favorite, my most used one is the Fiskars. I initially got this one. This is the Soignier brand when I initially started my sticker shop, but it just wasn't cutting it. You get it? <laughs> it wasn't cutting it. it. It works fine. That's not the issue. It cuts, it cuts fine, but it wasn't big enough. And as my shop started to expand into other things like journals and bigger things, I needed more space and more room to measure and cut things. So I quickly learned that even though this was like a lot less money, it, it, it's not for if you want to grow and expand your business into other things. So I got the Fiskars, which is still not too expensive, but it works for me for right now. And I love the color, of course, the design, of course, but also that it's bigger. Look at that, it expands. So I can cut things like this and I can cut things that expand down here. So the Fiskars, I would definitely recommend this one 
because it just has so much more versatility and it also has an exacto cut line up here that shows you exactly where you're going to cut so there's no mistake in what you're going to cut this one right here this one i recommend this one number seven a self healing cutting mat i have two and i'm going to show you both the first one is this small cute little pink one right here the purpose of a cutting mat is you cut things on top of it like for example if you're going to use your splice to cut something or a scissor or an exacto knife but you cut on top of this and it's self-healing which means that it doesn't it heals itself it doesn't rip apart so you can use this over and over again and it might show little lines but actually it basically you can't you can't tell you can't see the cut marks the cut marks somehow close up you know the cut mark it just stuck up themselves so I have this small one here I mainly use this from when I am slicing my die cut stickers and I love that it has measurements on it I have never used measurements on this one but it has it just in case and I also have a really big one this big gray one right here that I use when I'm making my journals I use it to cut the chipboard when I am making my self-love and affirmations journal so either the big one or the small one, I have them both linked in the description bar for you. But this will save you from cutting up your desk, cutting up paper, making dents in the wall, cutting up your floors, all of that stuff. <laughs> Get you a self-healing cutting mat. Number eight is either a Dymo or these sticker sheets right here. I'm going to mention both because you need some way to have shipping labels to print to ship your products. And yes, you can handwrite that, but the more expensive route is to get a Dymo. I have a Dymo. I love it. So far, it has served me great. I have absolutely no issues with my Dymo. Well, I do. The only issue is I wish it came a different color. Like, you know, the aesthetics. It's always about the aesthetics. But other than the color, I love it. The price, okay, that's a lie. The price was a bit much too, the price. But, okay, that's enough. Nothing else. I love it. <laughs> other than the price and the color I love it I love it I love it so that just saves a lot of time when you're shipping out orders especially from Etsy you just click and the shipping labels print out and you're good to go however when I first started I was on a budget and there was no way I could have afforded that so what I did was I ordered these items right here these are sticker sheets that have a slit down the center it's already pre-cut down the center and what you can do is feed this into your printer when you are printing a label and it'll print on one side and just keep doing that and you just peel it off and stick it on your package and then you save the paper though because it has two sides remember two sides save the paper and then put it back in your printer again when you're ready to, to print on the other side just make sure you know the orientation of how your printer works just that's important and then you can print on the other side peel it off and put on your package and that's that so this is a more inexpensive option when you are starting out and it came in clutch for me when I first started out it was so helpful but once you upgrade or if you can afford get your Dymo but the color I don't know about the color I don't know about the color I don't know about the color but I'm gonna still link it in the description bar for you number nine is my die cut sticker organizer this folder right here is where I organize all of my die cut stickers. As you can see, it's just a regular folder. It looks like it's a business card holder, but each pocket I have my die cut stickers stored inside. On Amazon, it is titled as a photo album, but we're using it for stickers. <laughs> so it is a mini photo album. It has 288 mini pockets. It also takes up minimal space, which is why I love it. It's You can just carry it with you if you're on the go. You can just slide it into a little slot on your desk. If you have, if you don't have a large room, if you just, you know, if you just want something that won't take up a lot of space, this is it. This is it. If your die cut stickers are bigger, look on Amazon. I'm sure they have a bigger size, but it's the size that I use. Last item, number 10, is this washi dispenser right here. I got this a two pack, which I'll link for you guys as well. I bought these because when I when I package my orders, I like to put 
um, washi tape on the order itself to hold down the tissue paper, hold down the envelope, just hold down anything, just make it look decorative and cute. I tell you guys, it's that extra little, the extra little touch of class. I have my own branded washi tape that I use when I'm packaging orders. You don't have to have your own branded washi tape. You can use any washi tape. I'm just extra and I have my own because it's a long story why I do have it. It's easier for me to have it at my disposal to just pull the washi tape, peel it off, and put it on the package. It just makes it so much easier for me. And I like this one because it's clear aesthetics and it can fit multiple washi tapes. I just have different ones that I can use depending on the seasons. Like I have my branded washi tape, which is my logo. I also have my moon and stars washi tape. So if someone orders that particular item or something similar in that item, I can use that washi tape. I have my Juneteenth washi tape. So if someone orders items during, Ju during Juneteenth or have Juneteenth items in their order, I will use that washi tape. You get it? You see, you see, you see what I'm, you see, all right. You pick it up what I'm putting down, there you are. So you guys, those are the 10 things that are essential must-haves for me to run my sticker and stationery shop. Hopefully this video is helpful. Hopefully I showed you something that will help you in your sticker and stationery shop. Let me know in the comment section which item you liked, which item you plan on getting, which item you actually think, no, I don't need that, you're doing the most. No, I really want to know. I want to know. Just talk to me in the comment section is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's about it. If you guys are interested in supporting my sticker and stationery shop, that link will definitely be in the description or a bar as well. Shameless plug. It's called Nardia K Creations. That will be probably the first thing, the first top, top, top thing in the description bar. And then the Amazon links. Yo, I'm just so honest. I'm honest. Okay, that's it. Have a good day. Good luck with your shop. And that's it. Bye. This one. The Fiskers cutting mat. Cutting. Cutting thing. Where's your name? I'm going to say the name now. I'm going to forget it already. Where's something your name? There's something. There's something there. So a paper cutter. There's something right here. So this one.